Hi guys, in this experiment we will see about separation of no load losses on single phase transformer. The circuit diagram for this experiment is this. So the objective of this experiment is to study about the core losses of a single phase transformer and to separate the no load losses of a single phase transformer and finally to draw a graph between frequency and power. The formula used for this experiment is frequency is equal to P into NS by 120. So the P is equal to number of poles and NS is the synchronous speed in RPM. And hysteresis loss WH is equal to A into F and eddy current loss WE is equal to B into F. So the A and B are obtained from the graph. Ion loss is equal to WH plus WE in watts. WH is the hysteresis loss and WE is the eddy current loss. Before we move to the procedure, the precautions we should take care is that the motor field rheostat is kept at the minimum resistance position. The alternator field rheostat should be kept at the maximum resistance position. So the procedure will be, the supply is given by closing the DPST switch. The DC motor is started using the three point starter and brought to the rated speed by adjusting the field rheostat. By varying the alternator field rheostat, uh, uh, by varying the alternator field rheostat gradually, the rated primary voltage is applied to the transformer. The frequency is varied by varying the motor field rheostat and readings of frequency are noted down. And the speed is also measured using the tachometer. The above procedure is repeated for different frequencies and the readings are tabulated. The motor is switched off by opening the DPST switch. DPST switch after bringing all the rheostat to the initial positions. The tabulation for separation of no load losses on single phase transformer is this one. The contents will be speed in RPM, frequency in Hertz, voltage in volts, watt meter reading in watts, ion losses WA in watts and uh, WA by F in joules. So for this speed and uh, for this voltage, voltage values, I will get the reading for frequency, watt meter readings, ion loss and uh, for joules. You can find the A and B uh, for uh, A and B using the graph drawn between watts and frequency for uh, tabulating ion loss and joules. With this tabulation, the experiment is over. Thank you.